Welcome back to my daily analysis videos with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Hantech, on Monday, the 14th of December. Now, a sterling dollar has a lot of Brexit chat going on. Um, you've seen over the weekend the negotiations continuing, and it has had a significant impact again on cable. Now, what we've seen is uh, back end of last week, a sharp move to the downside on the failing talks, but seemingly the, the two leaders between um, the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, and Boris Johnson, the UK Prime Minister, have sort of opened the way to potential agreement this week, and they, the negotiations drag on and on and on, but essentially the big deadline is the 31st of December, and it could well be that it goes right up until that point. However, in the meantime, markets are actually buying into this move. We've seen a sp sharp move higher early doors today. Big gap higher at the open. Actually, the market had come back to fill that gap, interestingly enough. Big gap at the open, came back to fill certainly a trading gap from Friday and then gone again to the upside. So that was a positive, certainly. And uh, we've left some good support, 32.80. Interestingly enough, 32.80 again around this area, this old pivot that the market was uh, quite often trading around in the last couple of weeks, actually, around that 33 big figure mark, using it as a basis of support. But it obviously broke decisively to the downside on Friday on the disappointment, but has obviously reclaimed that level today. And um, that now once more becomes a basis of support. So essentially, we're still buying into this uptrend channel. Um, it's not a perfect channel, but it is a pretty decent one. And I think we're still buying into the weakness. Market is seemingly desperate to buy sterling at the moment. Obviously, there's a big dollar weakness angle to that as well. But Essentially, the market, I think, is sort of erring back towards the prospects of a deal again. And it's going to go down to the wire, I think, now. Um, it seems as though that uh, both sides are intent on doing it that way uh, for the negotiations on Brexit trade. But it certainly looks as though that sterling dollar wants to go higher. And the market wants to buy it. So um, looking on the four-hour chart, you've seen a, a, a strong four-hour candle here. Um, again, basis of support around that 33 big figure mark, 32.80. So maybe use that as a bit of a gauge. Um, if the market decisively starts losing that as a basis of support coming back, then you would suggest that that would be on the assumption that maybe there are le there's less chance of a deal, I would say. But looking fairly positive, I think, with regards to the outlook on the hourly chart, having picked up back above that 33 big figure area. <laughs> which, um, as I said, is now sort of a basis of a pivot. Um, bit, I mean, essentially, is a very ch messy chart, but still you'd be looking, I think, to buy the weakness. So I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos. Go to our website to sign up for our webinars and click to watch Trader Talks, our videos that give you top trading ideas.